Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and yes I am going to be uploading a video I know it's been a month I know it's been a month but I am going to upload when there's something really important to talk about now some big news pieces that I missed was the Alderaan stronghold that got announced that's going to be releasing with patch 6.1 uh, from what I've seen on the PTS and on some images posted on Reddit Alderaan stronghold looks really nice and I'm sorry I wasn't able to give that news on the channel, but I was away on vacation when the news came out, and by the time I came back, it had just been too late. Also, with patch 6.1, we're getting a little bit of an update to the storyline based off of how Onslaught ended, so that's a little bit exciting as well that we're getting a little bit new story. Now, patch 6.1 is slated for a mid-February release, and we also have some updated cartel market items that were put on the PTS server, and these cartel market items are most likely going to release with patch 6.1 as well. And there are some really nice stuff here. There's some items that have been long asked for by the community, as well as Mandalorian items. That's right, we're going to get some items from the Mandalorian TV show. So let's get right into it. Uh, I want to just kind of showcase it. I only have images based off of what people have pasted from the PTS server, and so that's what I'll be using. Uh, firstly, we have the Tau Adair's armor set. So that's right, Tau Adair from the Onslaught and Osus expansion. Her armor set is finally making it into the game, uh, complete with also a rebreather. Now this is, I think, really important because a lot of, we don't have a lot of Jedi-related armor sets. I know a lot of uh, the Sith stuff and the Dark Empire stuff gets Put on and then uh, people want you know Jedi armor set so this is a great one it's got that blue armor plating but I think what really sets this armor set apart is the whole cloak that ropes over the front half of your body that was a really unique take on on a Jedi armor set I think it's a really well designed armor set and I think they would be putting it to waste if they didn't release a a version that players can wear as well. So yes, we are getting that. It comes with a rebreather. I wish I could, I wish I had access to the PTS server to really show you, but uh, my computer has no memory left, so I'm not able to download the PTS server. But anyways, I think the image kind of does it justice. And a lot of people, I know the community has really been asking for this one. A lot of people are like, when are you going to add Tower Deer's armor set? So now it's finally coming in. It's also coming in as a gold armor set, it seems, not platinum, which is really nice. Alright, so next on the list we have the Exiled Padawans armor set. Now this one, I'm not quite sure what it relates to in terms of recent Swotar content or Star Wars content in general. Uh, it does have uh, some really nice designs on the breastplate and on kind of the flap uh, for the pants. It looks like a, quite a nice armor set. I think a lot of people rightly identified it as one of those armor sets from the Star Wars Rebels TV show. So the, the first Inquisitor guy, he used to be a, a temple guard, and I think the people with him were kind of dressed up in a very similar helmet. The whole design of this armor set is very similar to the Temple Guardian's armor set, and it seems to be a version that's more inspired by the Rebels TV show during that whole scene. So um, that's where I would kind of pin this as. Um, uh, if you have some more information, I'd love to hear it in the comments. But basically, yeah, another gold armor set. Looks really nice. And then moving on, before we get into the Mandalorian stuff, we'll just throw this one in here as well. This is the Charred Coincer Monocycle. So this is going to be the third monocycle we get out of the series. The first one was a blue one, the second one was a green one with a little bit of a flourish. And this one is now the uh, more fiery version, the, the burning orange one. And it does seem to come with a flourish as well, based off of those little lightning crackles that you can see coming out of the picture. So this one's probably got a flourish, but nothing too fancy. If you're a fan of the monocycles and you want to collect them, I could see you going for this one. But a lot of people who might not like the design are probably not too interested in it. I don't think this is ever in the Mandalorian TV show. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's got anything to do with the Mandalorian. But they do have a Mandalorian riding it in the photo, so... Alright, the moment you've all been waiting for, the Mandalorian stuff. So we'll start with just the blaster pistol. So this is the Mandalorian or uh, Mandalorian inspired blaster pistol based off of the TV show. It's called Payday, really fitting name, and it is going to be a platinum rarity item. I have no information on you on how it sounds or how the blaster part looks. But based off of the recent items that have been coming out, guys, there have been some neat, really, really good gold and platinum items. I wish I uh I wish I was able to do like preview videos for them before they're released because they were really cool but now that they're released everyone can just go and preview them off the cartel market but specifically i'm thinking about some new ones that i've been using which is like the pure sabak blaster rifle and blaster pistol those were like phenomenally well designed weapons at least in my opinion i'm using them on like all my characters and i really like the um the visual effect that comes with when you shoot the blaster rifle like the like the blasters come with these really huge bolts and they also leaves a smoky effect I just really liked it. It basically looked like a shotgun. So I was um, really quite impressed by those ones. And I think, you know, if that's any indication of how they're designing weapons now, they seem to be doing a really good job. 
And then yes, aside from the blaster pistol, we are also going to get his big sniper rifle. But interestingly enough, it's called the Ambin JP Blaster Rifle. So it is going to be a blaster rifle, which is a really smart move because a sniper rifle would really restrict it to only one class. But the blaster rifle can now be used by multiple classes, which I probably played more as well. And it's going to be a gold rarity item, but it looks almost identical to the one the Mandalorian uses in the TV show with the two big spikes coming out of the barrel. And it's also got a scope and everything like that. So really, really well designed. Nice thing that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy using. And then finally, we have a new flare called the Manufacturer's Protocol. Now this one, I had a little bit of trouble figuring out what it was at the start. I had to read some of the Reddit comments in order to, in order to figure it out. But uh, this is like IG-88 inspired from the Mandalorian as well. So if you look at it, it's kind of like a top-down view of his head with those two little um, circles on the left side being his eyes. And so yeah, it kind of looks like that. So it's IG-88 inspired. And it also is called Manufacturer's Protocol, so that is most likely relating to him. Um, so yeah, that's the new flare. Nothing too fancy. The flare I'm not too big about, but damn, those, those that blaster rifle looked good. And Tower Dare's armor set is really nice. So those are two, for me, the most exciting uh, um, items coming from this one. We're also probably going to get many more. These are just a few that they've added to the PTS so far. But yeah, it's looking really good. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about these. Which ones are you most excited for? Do you think they did a good job with the Mandalorian stuff? I think they could do a little bit more. Especially maybe giving us a Mandalorian uh, themed armor set. Because those tend to be really popular and they do tend to do a pretty good job on those. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.